Welcome to a new series. We're going to make a roguelite which will also have procedural dungeon generation. Yeah, there is some bugs uh, at the moment. We're also going to include field of view, directional field of view, and omnidirectional field of view. And the plan is to later on also add multiplayer so we can see cool things like a server bit and all these uh, yeah, cool things. Uh, the first two parts are the procedural dungeon generation, which I'm also going to include a github link So if you want to you can even start from part 3 Though I do highly recommend that you watch at least that you at least watch part 1 and 2 so that you have an idea of how All of this works the idea for the procedural dungeon or well the algorithm for creating the procedural dungeon comes from a Gamma Sutra post. You will find links in the description and on the course page. More on that later. And it's based off creating a few cells, you know, met then separating them, then triangulating using Delaney triangulation and uh, creating a spanning tree. And from that spanning tree, finding the paths, creating paths, and then of course visualizing our grid. And Let's pause for a second and let's get into the procedural dungeon generation project. This is the exact project you will find on GitHub. You can go on to... If you go on to the game object... Well, I should rename this, to be honest. Let's call this Grid Manager. Okay, and what we need... I'm going to enable, disable the grid and I'm just going to enable the debug viewer and I'm going to go on to my level generator and also enable, tick this for debug. This is going to have to introduce between the steps uh, artificial delay so that we know and you know we can debug uh, the stuff we need. Okay, so keep in mind without this the generation is almost uh, instantly. I'm going to hit play. So the first step is creating the cells. The second step is separating the cells, making sure that none of them overlap. Okay, third step is, uh, there's also one more step, but it also depends on your stats, on the stats you've set up in here, which means, which basically has to do with uh, eliminating some smaller rooms, so you don't get to get all of them, but it's also working correctly if you don't want to eliminate all of them. Keep in mind that we have 50 number of cells, it's about 50 over here. Okay, so triangulation, spanning tree, turning the spanning tree into paths, and we have, and for the rest is basically just uh, creating the, visualizing the grid, and that's the shift we're doing it's uh, just for you know visualization purposes just so that we can see uh, so just so that we only mess with positive values and we don't have to worry about finding correct values that are negative and stuff like that okay uh, this is a really nice algorithm so for example we can even get around a thousand number of cells keep in mind there's also the artificial delay but this is a thousand cells separated triangulated spanning tree between them and then of course fixing the path obviously a thousand cells if you want to visualize a thousand cells it's going to be a little bit uh, not yeah not that simple okay because you have to manage how you visualize that uh, all that inside unity and stuff like that but as you can see it's nice it didn't even take that much and we have also the debug lo the debug mode on okay so let's make this into more say number and i'm going to go out of the debug mode since we don't really need this anymore and i'm going to close the debug viewer and i'm going to enable the grid and this is going to actually visualize it normally as you will see it though however we need to change the scale to 0.32 in this case And uh, yeah, that, something's missing over here. So hold on for a second. So excuse me for that. So uh, 
Yeah, I've kind of opened a different project. This is the actual one I'm going to share because it uh, also has a few fixes. And I have the lockdown over here are the stats. So let's change the number of cells to 50 and hit play. And you will see that it's going to visualize your entire the entire dungeon. Plus, we're also going to get walls between our rooms. You can also change the room circular radius, for example. You can change the values, set this to 40 or something. It will drastically change the appearance of your dungeon. Okay, so it can give you bigger rooms, more stuff like that. In detail, you're going to go through the videos, part one and two. So watch those if you want to even, you know, add extra steps, remove, even remove some steps. Okay, maybe you don't want the cells to be separated and awesome stuff like this another cool thing is that of course the procedural dungeon the procedural generation doesn't really need to be just for a roguelite or not even just for a game that has an orthographic view if we switch this to ISO we go through this through on part 2 uh, just keep that in mind if you want to, to dwell more into the details Okay, I'm going to change this into ISO and I'm going to hit play. And you're going to see that we instantiate or we generate our level into an isometric function. Think Diablo, for example. Okay, it's all based off the same principle. So we have the generation which uh, provides us with data. How we choose to visualize that data, it's up to us. So in reality, this will have been two different series but as you know me I like to do things uh, in a more targeted fashion so each series gets you through a certain genre of a game talking about series let me open up let me tell you where you can find the entire series so if you check the description you will find the link to the entire uh, series okay I'm going to be adding more parts every week as with uh, the rest of the series check the site check the stuff and yeah I should probably fix these uh, links um, yeah check the stuff we're also going to be using I'm also going to add the github link over here there's going to be a few resources like the sprites and the stuff over here that you will be able to also download from the git or from the Google Drive, we'll see. Uh, that's the stuff we have till now. And next week I'm going to be adding a lot more. Okay, so right now you'll only be able to, well, they're going to be public for everybody, only the first four parts, and then the rest will come. I'm getting, if you're new to this channel, I'm making a new public video every, every week. So next week will be this. Uh, maybe this will be together and then I'm going to be adding and more and more okay if you want to get an early view you just need to become a patron okay but if in if in if you don't want to become a patron then you can wait a week and uh, you can watch them so uh, don't forget to check all also the other series there's some new stuff or uh, more features into the site as well most uh, Specifically, you can check, even if you are not a patron, you can check if there is uh, something new or if there's a new video added. Okay, and you also get a timestamp. And if you are logged in, we also log in right with uh, patron, so you don't have to register or anything. We just use the same credentials as patron. You can click this and you will also get new the timestamps over here or if you are logged in and there's a new content you're going to get a new you know a notification uh, apart from that the series well the base the triangulation library comes from this git it's also under a uh, mid license okay and the process of generation the base concepts comes from this okay uh, which also comes uh, again from a different uh, blog post uh, we, I'm not doing everything that's uh, in here 
For example, this one is using physics. I'm not using physics to separate the cells. So it's also way faster and it's more optimized. So if you want to do this for mobile, you can turn it. Okay. And yeah, it's basically, it's based on the concepts. I don't think I'm using any code from this. Just the base concepts. So yeah, check these links. Check the other two links uh, over here as well, especially the FOV. And we're also going to use a free asset that's basically just from rather from distribution. All this is just to save us time, of course. Okay. And yeah, I'll see you on part one.